Hey, Sangrias here with the walkthrough achievement guide for uh, Never Alone Kisima Ingichuna. Inichuna? I don't know how to pronounce that properly. This is for the DLC, not the main game. The DLC is called Fox Tales. Uh, as soon as you start, you unlock uh, cultural insights. These are documentaries. There are five of them, and three you gotta find uh, within the game. Uh, two are unlocked. One is at the right at the beginning. Uh, you already saw that unlocked, and right at the end. So this is a new story. Uh, they decided to add on. Uh, if you've not played Never Alone yet, this Never Alone is a sort of a documentary platforming game about Alaska's Inupiat. Um, tribe I don't know what uh, people <coughs> they're like what we normally call Eskimos basically so enjoy that uh, cutscene for a little bit <coughs> Uh, in the game, you control the uh, control a girl. I believe her name is called uh, Nuna, and a fox. Uh, fox has the ability to jump a little bit higher, do wall jumps, and a little bit of work wall climb. Um, the girl has the ability to pick up things and throw. So let's begin. Uh, unlike the main game, the DLC mostly involves um, rowing a boat from beginning to the end. And you're following this, you're chasing this mouse. You see the fox and the girl there. Alright, so even though for the most part, if you're playing the DLC, you probably played the main game already, it's uh, still telling you, it's giving you tutorials. Um, use the left stick to move, A to jump. That's pretty much all there is to it. I believe X to pick up stuff and throw. Uh, it'll tell you when you get there, when you need to do that. And then uh, on the bow, when you get to the boat, it's B to hold B and use the left stick to row. Uh, you should be seeing the boat very soon. Whole game is mostly. It's not. It's puzzle more than action. So you, while it does require some precise jumping. For the most part, if you figure out how to do this, um, how to solve the puzzles, the game is not that hard. And uh, the main game is about three hours long. This DLC is about an hour long. I believe my video is about 40 minutes long. I cut out some uh, some of my death and some places I couldn't figure out the puzzles for, and it, I believe it cut down to about 40 minutes long. It's divided into three parts. Uh, the DLC is divided into three parts, so that's how I divided my video. Uh, you get an achievement for uh, completing each part and uh, finding all the insights. <coughs> so here, move that uh, fox down. Uh, use uh, swim down to it and press X to hold X and uh, lower it down so that it's not pushing you pushing the boat back so it can actually go forward. I'm not sure what I'm doing there. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Finally, push it down. Uh, yeah, you, you can never row against that, that current or swim against that current. You can there's no way. So a lot of this DLC involves trying to avoid the avoid that and getting past it.
I was just getting a lot of notification on my phone for some reason, so it's checking that. Um, press uh, down and A to jump down. You see that owl there? That's a cultural insight. Um, pick up that owl and you get a cultural insight unlocked. There's three of them within the main game. I think I'm trying to figure out how to get to there. And uh, what you need to do is jump down, move that, uh, move that thing up so that it pushes the boat. Once the boat is on the other side, push that thing back down. Yeah, I, or I go there without knowing that I have to push it back down first. Push it back down, roll the boat backwards towards the owl and jump up to get the owl. Just climb downwards, swim downwards, and go back to where the fox was. If you did it before going to the right, it saves you a little bit of time. So there we go. Go up, go back up to the boat. Go back to controlling Nuna, and then jump up to claim the owl. You just need to go near it to unlock the culture insight. And if you feel like you can watch it. Uh, you do have to watch the cultural insights. Not you don't have to watch the entire thing. You can um, back out right away, but you do have to watch all five of them for the achievement to unlock. So don't panic when the achievement doesn't unlock after getting all the insights. Okay, we're chasing the mouse again. The boat is just chugging along without us, under us. And once we are back. Uh, when that's falling, we're gonna jump down into the water again. And. Yeah, the boat was carried away by the current all the way to the right side, I believe. And we now gotta catch up to it. Uh, just simple things. Uh, those those uh, hands or what, crabs or whatever they are. Uh, if you go near it, you do die, so you need to use the currents to push them away and downwards. Here, we want to go upwards. So basically, uh, keep kind of pushing up so that you're not sucked down, down to the bottom area. It's no big deal if you do get sucked in, um, you just need to restart that loop. The uh, the pulses aren't that hard. They're just kind of annoying, to say the least. And sometimes you, you can get stuck, and you do have to restart the checkpoint. Just be aware of that. Uh, the game is ha is a little bit buggy. Uh, now that you move that, um, if you get too close to that crab, you do you can get killed. So be careful that you don't swim up too fast, too too quickly. And don't swim like too low, swim as high as possible there. Uh, the boat should be here somewhere. It was pushed all the way to the right uh, because of the current. I don't actually, I yeah, the fox can make the jump, that's fine. It's a little bit of a difficult jump, uh, and I do switch over to Nuna because uh, the jumps uh, fox does have a higher jump, but. Uh, for some reason, I, it's a, a lot more difficult to control the fox for jumping, and it's easier to do these with Nuna. And the fox will just follow along automatically, so um, as long as one person succeeds, the other person will just follow along, no problem. Okay, we're still not met with the boat. Alright, I did. I I made a lot of mistakes there, so I cut away a little bit. But what happened was, uh, you get sucked into the stream, and you want to push upwards, so you're not you're not sucked back down and doing a loop. Yeah, uh, you'll notice some of some cuts that are kind of unnatural. 
I'm still learning this uh, whole whole YouTube editing thing so some of the cuts that I make are not perfect here you learn the new mechanism of getting uh, using a rock to make things happen so Nuna cannot pick up rocks that the spirit uh, drops for you to use pick that up using X and throw that down into where the um, <clears throat> the right side spirit is so that you, it blocks the way yeah, not like that uh, you gotta throw it kind of a little bit to the left so that it rolls down rather than uh, it rolls down and blocks the path maybe I have to do something else first I don't nah no, no, no. What I was doing was correct. Um, uh, sorry, I should have edited this out. Anyway, I'm going back and uh, going around to where the rock was. Because, um, yeah. I, I need to throw the rock down so that it rolls down to and, and blocks the entrance so that. Uh, the spirit is not uh, spouting that current at me I like that I will not, it didn't roll down anyway it needs that needs to happen that's what needs to happen so just play around with it until you actually get into that hole and then you can swim right okay another rock this time we're gonna throw it down to the right so that it rolls down to the left side and blocks that way and uh, the stream the uh, the current is pushed outward so that we can actually go to that area you saw uh, like two three enemies there you couldn't have gone past that without this stream if you're wondering why we needed that stream that's what it was for Yeah, we gotta go back to the right and then get on top of that to make this jump. I believe this is where the another owl is, and I made a lot of mistakes trying to get the owl, or maybe not. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think this is where the owl is. Uh, to get the owl, use the fox. Um, jump when it's at the highest and then wall climb up and jump to jump back to the right before you die if you don't do the jump you will not be able to get the owl uh, I, I, I don't edit I'm at death here because um, that way I, I can't show you the owl how to get the owl if I um, edit that out so now we're back at that checkpoint and the owl is already we already got the owl so we don't need that anymore we're gonna throw that onto the boat and then boat will start going to the right automatically and we'll follow the boat so, uh, and then we'll get on the boat and just row our way out and that's the end of this level or this part of the DLC and you'll get an achievement there's nothing more, you just go to the right and you see some uh, stories. Actually, there's one more, I think. You do have to make a jump. As you're rowing, um, maybe not. Maybe I was mistaken. Yeah, you're done and you're introduced to a huge mouse or whatever that is. That's the final boss of this DLC. Well, uh, my name is Sangrias and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you on the next part.